December 26, 2004, there was a catastrophic earthquake magnitude 9 that generated the world's most devastating tsunami in recorded history. And it occurred about 7 o'clock in the morning local time, and by noon about 237,000 people were killed. It was a phenomenal event that will go down in history and not ever be forgotten. Well, there were several reasons that so many people died. First of all, there was not an awareness of the tsunami threat. The Indian Ocean had no tsunami warning system because the last destructive tsunami they'd had was 1945. So that was the context in which this whole thing was in, uh, unfolding. And it was at that point in time we realized that we had a golden opportunity to educate the public about tsunami awareness. And it didn't take much because the visuals that were coming in, uh, all you had to do was just remind people that this can happen to them when they're on the beach. And then there's three safety rules to follow. If there are shakes, as the water recedes, or if you hear a loud roar, bingo. We tried to get that simple message out as quickly as we could. We at the Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory have worked, been working for the last 30 years to try to forecast a tsunami. That's been our whole objective. How could we forecast a tsunami, tell you how big it's going to be in advance, and tell you what to expect when it arrives? And to that extent, the first thing we had to do was build an instrument that could detect a tsunami in the open ocean. Then you have to relay that information back to a warning center so we can ingest it in a numerical model to do the forecast. And that's the birth of the dart buoy. And I'm happy to report that uh, following the 2004 event, there was a large investment made in these two technologies that we've been working on for years, and now we're forecasting tsunamis in advance. I think nature is too complicated for us to say we got you covered, but I think at this stage of the game, uh, our warning centers will be able to do very accurately the small tsunamis up to the large tsunamis.